This time on Marketing to Tourist, it's my annual rant against Google. And I gotta be honest, I don't think they're listening at all. Let's get started. Coming up at the end of this video, I'm going to tell you how you can have a professional website evaluation done and it's fast and easy. But first, I want to talk about Google a little bit because I know so many web designers spend so much effort trying to rank well in Google. And I want to show you why you may really be wasting your time. Take a look at this. We've done a very specific search, small romantic Seattle hotels. Now the first two are ads, the second three are ads that Google's put on. You see they get a cut of the action if you'll book at one of those hotels. So now we're into the real organic returns. And what do you have? TripAdvisor, Expedia, TripAdvisor, Yelp, Fox News, Gaia. Edgewater Hotel. This is the first hotel that's actually come back. Unfortunately, this is not a small romantic hotel. Hotels.com, Priceline.com. Once again, a large Seattle organization. I'm not saying they're bad, but remember, we were searching for small romantic Seattle hotels. Clearly, Google is not returning what we're asking for. So we did a very specific search, small romantic hotels, and instead Google returned major corporations and large review sites. But perhaps that's just limited to the hotel sector. Let's take a look. Next up, we'll search Seattle restaurants, and at the top, as you would expect, is an ad. And then we've got some interesting stuff here with a map, and I'm going to return to that in just a moment. But once again, it's major review sites like Urban Spoon, Yelp, TripAdvisor, SeattleEater.com, SeattleMet.com, Zygot, and Seattle Magazine, and on and on it goes. But on the home page, on the first page of what we were searching for, there is is not one single restaurant. At this point, perhaps you're saying, well, I can rank on that black film strip across the top of Google and still get on the first page. Well, no, unfortunately, those are gone. And if you remember the black film strip, there were really, what, 15 or 20 different businesses related to that search across the top of that film strip. All that has been replaced by seven map review points. Now, if you were one of those 20 businesses, the odds are you're really out of luck. Let's take a closer look at those maps. Believe it or not, most of the map business is designed to keep you on the Google search page or the G Plus page. For example, roll over this, you get all of the information from the G Plus page shown right on the search, so you'll stay on the Google property. Click on the reviews, you're going to receive only Google Plus reviews. So it's really there for Google's benefit. To their credit, if you click on the name of the cafe, it will take you to the cafe's website. And that's one way that you actually get off the Google search page. If there's any one thing I hope you're starting to take away from this, it's that working for Google, trying to work to achieve a high ranking in the organic search is a really bad idea. Not only that, it's risky to your company. Google does major algorithm updates about four times a year. And every time they do it, major businesses that have ranked well in Google in the past, perhaps they were number one, they get up the next morning, they're number 31. All all of that business instantly disappears and there's not a thing that business can do about it. They actually can go under by relying on Google. Guys, I hope you've learned something and if you have, I have an opportunity for you. You see, I'll come look at your website and tell you how you're doing, not only with the search engines, but also how people see you. It's a 30-point website evaluation and if you're interested, you can get it right here. All you have to do is click on 
from that link, it'll take you to my website where you can learn all the details. And it's quick, easy, and cheap. Guys, if you like this video, if you've learned something, please subscribe. All you have to do is click, and the next time a video comes out, you'll be among the first to know. Thank you, and I'll see you soon.